Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript Coding Challenge. In today's video, you have to find the below code output and you have four options to select from. The question is, you have a class A which is having a constructor and within the constructor you are actually printing new.target.name and you have another class B which is extending A using the extends keyword and finally you are actually creating a new class we are invoking or creating the instance of this particular class new of A and new of B and the four options are the first one uh, reference error name is not defined in no new dot target and the second option is A and A third option is A and B and fourth option is A so please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting and before we discuss the answer for this particular question, if you are finding this particular coding uh, JavaScript coding challenge series interesting, please hit the subscribe button and uh, so that you will be able to get a notification uh, of the uh, upcoming videos and also you, have, you can actually explore more uh, previous uh, videos that we have published in the JavaScript coding challenges. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. So I have this particular script available in the index.html as you can see over here and I am already running this particular script and everything is running fine. I have opened the browser and opened the sources and I will put a breakpoint over here. Okay, we are actually printing it here, right? So I will put a breakpoint over here. So before, uh, so the question states that we have a class A, it is having a constructor and in this we are trying to print new.target.name. So first we have to understand what is new.target right so if i just hover the mouse over here you can see it is class a it is new dot target is class a so what is new dot target it is a pseudo property which is detects whether a function or constructor was called using the new proper new operator okay it is a pseudo property and it detects whether a function or a constructor was called using the new operator so you can see here we are calling this uh, particular class using the new operator right so here it is new dot target and here actually we are actually closing uh, calling this class using the new uh, keyword okay so that will be actually uh, will be having this uh, this is a so this will be uh, capturing that particular uh, event and that is new dot target okay which is a pseudo property and in class constructors it refers to the constructor that was directly invoked by new okay so it refers to the constructor that was di directly invoked by the new. So that's very important. So direct invocation of the new that is what is being referred to as the new dot target. And if the constructor is in a parent class and it was delegated from a child constructor, new dot target points to the class definition of the class which is initialized. Okay, which class we are actually initializing that is what a new dot target will be referring to okay so if the constructor is in a parent class and was delegated from a child constructor so in this case when you are actually doing an extens right so what is extens doing it is used in class declarations or class expressions to create a class as a child of another class so in this uh, a will be the parent of uh, class the, so class b will be a child and it is uh, a will be parent and whatever property or constructor a if a is having so that will be available for b as well okay so that's what we can actually extend the properties that is used in a to uh, available in b okay used in class declarations or class expressions to create a class as a child of another class okay so that is what extends this so in this case actually new dot target you can see here it is referring to class a and what is this name property so uh, this name property is used uh, actually we can use this and uh, it's a read only property and we can actually get if it is uh, class is having any name right so if it is named then we will be having new dot target as uh, this particular name will be available over here okay if it is not having any name okay so like uh, class expressions okay it can be uh, class expressions can be either named or un uh, unnamed we have covered it in a previous uh, uh, coding challenge so similarly so if it is class a then what will happen is new dot target dot name right so that will be so you can see here it is a read only property and returns the name of the function or the class okay it, it will be a local scope and that name will be available over here okay so function names are read only and cannot be changed this cannot be changed 
okay so that's it uh, regarding this particular question so let's see how it is getting printed so if i go to the browser and uh, refresh the core refresh the page right so now if you see uh, a has been uh, invoked okay let me okay run it again okay so you can see here now it is in this particular line so now using uh, a class has been called using the new keyword and what happens now if it will go to the constructor and in the constructor it will try to print new dot target dot name so you, here you can see this is a local scope within the local scope in the constructor the name property you can see so this is what a okay so it refers to this particular constructor and the name is new dot target refers to this one and new dot target dot name refers to a and hence you can see if i actually yeah if i actually go to control you can see a is getting printed now it is calling the b function b class okay and it is also called using the new keyword so b has been called and now you can see here b and inside that it is a prototype prototype is a but the constructor value you can see the name is actually b okay and hence uh, when we are actually new dot target refers to this particular constructor and new dot target dot name refers to whatever is available over here okay so a has been overwritten by b because b is the child and as in the uh, documentation it mentioned right so if the constructor is an apparent class and was delegated from a child constructor new dot target points to the class definition of class which is initialized so we are initializing the b and hence uh, the b will be uh, the name that is getting uh, passed over here and hence uh, b will be printed over here so let me ref uh, a print this so b is getting printed so the answer would be a and b uh, in our case the option would be uh, c right so this is the answer for this particular question so new dot target is an uh, very good feature that you can explore more on that and name property can be used to access the uh, name of a function or a class uh, in that in that scope is actually lo local and that's a read only property you cannot uh, change that particular name okay and extend keyword actually uh, is used to extend uh, the properties that are available in uh, the parent uh, to be available in the child okay so it is used in class declarations or class expressions to create a class as a child of another class and what is new dot target it is a pseudo property which detects whether a function or a constructor was called using the new operator and in class constructors it refers to the constructor that was directly invoked by new okay and if it is uh, uh, if the constructor is in a parent class uh, like for our case uh, a is the parent class and was delegated from a child constructor new dot target will be pointing to the class which is initialized okay and hence uh, the option uh, right answer for our option is option c a and b so i hope you got an idea about new dot target so you can explore more on that so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching